back to our channel. We're watching a movie today. This is The Silence of the Lambs. So we know that this film is viewed as a classic. We know that Anthony Hopkins won an Oscar for it. I'm pretty sure he holds like the record, in, if I remember correctly reading this somewhere, for the shortest amount of screen time while winning an Oscar. Huh, that's interesting. So I assume this is about some sort of serial killer. He might be a cannibal. One of the two. I forgot. I get confused between this and like, maybe this is the movie I'm thinking of. I don't know. I've never mm -hmm. seen it before, but I think that it's like about, you know, some killer cannibal, whatever. Yeah. I know a couple of details about the plot. I won't say anything right now just to like let Casey be a little bit surprised. I don't know obviously how it's going to take place. Um, this is a part of a series of films and this is actually oh, the second one. What? Yeah, it's the second one. What's it's, the first one? It's called Manhunter, if I'm not mistaken, and it didn't star Anthony Hopkins. But um, it's not like, you don't need to see the first one? I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out, but I do know that the actor who I guess played... Do you know his name? I don't want to ruin it. Do you know uh -huh. his name? Like, uh, yeah. Anthony Hopkins' character? So I won't ruin that. But I know that that character was played by a different actor, and then in this movie, he was recast as Anthony Hopkins. And then oh. they made, I think, another film with him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, they did make another film with him. And then, if I'm not mistaken, there's also a series out there, but I, I've never seen the series. And that was more recent, I would say, like, I don't know, within the last five to ten years, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, was it Hannibal? Yeah, okay, so, so she, is she, it she about... figured it out. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that the series was relating to this. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I was right about it being about a cannibal, but I didn't know it was Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal the cannibal. So it's like Hannibal Lecter. So this, was this where he came from, that character? Well, yeah, I mean the second film, but yeah, this is what I feel like so what's most widely known. Oh, okay, you know what's crazy? I guess from my perspective, never have seen this movie, I've always heard that name, like, you know, I, everybody Lecter. knows, like, Hannibal Lecter, mm -hmm. what, Lecter? Le Lecter. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I didn't, like, I guess I never put it together that this was where that character person originated from. For a while, I thought he was real. What? Like a real person at one point, like a real, a real like cannibal back in the day. Well, I'm excited to check this one out. It's something that I've been wanting to watch for years. I just never got around to it. And then when we started the channel, it's kind of something we wanted to wait to actually mm -hmm. react to and watch it here with you guys. Also, thank you so much to our patrons for voting for this movie for us to watch. If you want to be a part of our Patreon movie polls and see all of our full length watch along reactions, the link is down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump into this movie. Quantico, like the I've FBI. Heard that before, yeah. I watched the the series. You try to show it to me. I kind of like lost interest yeah. towards the end of the first season. I liked it, or it was just the name of the town. To be honest, mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> climbing for fun. Oh, FBI. FBI! So it is Quantico. Quantico. You fed. <laughs> Crawford wants to see you in his office. Thank you, sir. Dang it, I forgot to put up the Halloween lights. <laughs> oh. So I wonder if she's like a seasoned vet or not. Yeah. She relatively new. Oh, the 90s. Slash late 80s. This is probably filmed before it. Probably, yeah. 89 or 90, if I had to guess. If it, if it came out in 91, which I'm pretty sure it did. You looking for Crawford? Yes, sir. Well, he should be back in a couple minutes. Why don't you wait in his office? I throw up a couple more notches. <laughs> Very soft-spoken in this <laughs> film so far. <laughs> you can tell, like, um, an older movie sometimes. You know, like how the sound even equipment has improved. Because mm. a lot of times it's quieter. Bill Skins Fifth. Oh, like Skins the Fifth Person? Pretty sure, yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are we gonna get to see him eat someone? <laughs> <laughs> That's your question? <laughs> I mean, I would never want to see it in real life, but in a movie. You've seen The Walking Dead. <laughs> but they're not alive, it doesn't count. Could be a real help in unsolved cases. Most of them have been happy to talk to us. You spook easily, Starling? 
See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, he's a psychiatrist? <laughs> what the heck? Have your memo on my desk by 0800 Wednesday. Excuse me, sir, but why the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? I wish there were. Well, I want your full attention, Starling. But I feel like I've heard that before. Not the football team. No! <laughs> 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 Just do your job, but never forget what he is. Oh, he's a monster. A pure psychopath. So rare to capture one alive. From a oh. research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. <laughs> Interesting way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is a great town, Dr. Chilton, but um, my instructions are to talk to Dr. Lecter and report back this afternoon. I see. Let's make this I like the bit. southern accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty young woman to turn him on. I don't believe Lecter's even seen a woman in eight years. And oh, are you ever his taste, so to speak? I graduated from school. <laughs> I said, because he eats? <laughs> I take it back. I don't want to see him eat someone. <laughs> the glass. Do not approach the glass. You pass him nothing but soft paper. No pencils or pens. No staples or paper clips in his paper. Use the sliding food carrier. No exceptions. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. This would be way too much anxiety. <laughs> like, I cannot promise I will not mess up this. The doctors managed to reset her jaw, more or less. Uh save one of her eyes. His pulse never got above 85. Oh my gosh! You might have suggested this in my office and saved me the time. Then I, I would have missed the pleasure of your company, sir. <laughs> have to humor him to get what you want. How did they even catch him the first time? I'm assuming that's what the first film was about. Hmm. I put out a chair for you. Oh, yes, that's very good. Thank you. I'll be watching. You'll do fine. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of scary. I know, right? Especially having to walk past all the other ones, yeah. too, I guess. Like, all this insane security to get to him. Like, could I have at least had a guard, like, walk me down this area? Well, maybe, um, she's worried that they he won't talk. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? May I see your credentials? Certainly. Don't touch the glass. Don't tap the glass. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Touch or tap? Uh, from Finding Nemo, right? No, from here. Oh, oh, I, thought oh. You, I, thought, <laughs> I thought you were making a Finding Nemo reference. Hello, sir. Mm. No, don't do it. Other chick got her tongue eaten. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. What did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. Oh. What did he say? You feel like I can he smell said, your guts? I can smell your cunt. Oh. <laughs> you said guts? <laughs> I myself cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I totally <laughs> He knows the skin cream. All seen from the Belvedere. You know Florence. All that detail just like that gaze is just like. He's called Buffalo Bill. Please tell me, the newspapers won't say. Well, it started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide. They said this one likes to skin his humps. Mm -hmm. What? You send that through now. Questionnaire. <laughs> <laughs> He's so freaky. You fly back to school now, little Starling. Fly, fly, fly. fly, fly. Oh my wow, <laughs> he is giving like a great performance. I though. know. I was like. Just saying, like, in my head, like, this is just, like, I don't know, peak acting right mm. here. Uh, 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 I bit my wrist. So I don't, hide. don't. Oh, my gosh, don't. Don't engage. Uh, Ew, oh, my oh, oh, my gosh. 
Uh. Uh. White social need though he is crazy. Go now! Oh. That was interesting that he like called her back to like tell her that. So he had patience before in the past. I mean, I guess it makes sense he was a psychiatrist, but like it's still crazy mm -hmm. to think about, you know? Mm hmm. I can't get over what just happened to her. That was disgusting. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Bill. Bill? Like, like Buffalo, Buffalo Bill? Buffalo Bill? Hey, Clarice. Oh, his, her dad's name was Bill. Oh. Did you get any bad guys sleep? What if her dad's Buffalo Bill? <laughs> Oh, uh, you didn't check your, your left. Mm -hmm. Three good commands. Starling, where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the corner? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. Three, one, oh, nine. So he said that an opportunity to advance her career. Yeah. But has she made the effort to, like, go? Or she told the other guy, like, the supervisor about, like, this? What she, like, heard? He also seemed just... like he didn't like what happened in there to her. You yeah. Know? Like, which is interesting to me. Crawford? Thanks, Ardelia. Starling? Sir? Miggs is dead. What? How? Early heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Oh my gosh. He, like, convinced him to kill himself? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still here, so I just... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. You don't have to feel Dang. any way about it. Lecter did it to amuse himself. Like, I, I feel like he did it for another mm. reason. Still don't trust him because it might be manipulative. Hmm. For ten years, prepaid in full. The contract is in the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. Damn. Well, you just stay here. I'll be back in one minute. Oh, okay. Oh. That's smart. I would have been like, all right, I'll be back in the morning. <laughs> if this door should fall down or <laughs> anything else, uh, <laughs> this is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now, I'd be afraid to be like under it like that. Tell them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss. Oh. oh, she got cut. Ah. Ooh, on the nail. Hopefully, you had a tetanus shot. So, is this, because I know it's the storage facility, but it was the patient, or was I, it his? Or I guess we're going to find out, maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's connected to the patient, but mm -hmm. I'm still not 100% sure. Hey, Clarice. Is that a coffin under that? What could that be? I don't know. It looks big. Yeah. An airplane? <laughs> flag. It's a gigantic It's a car. Flag. Oh. It looks like a car. Yeah. What's inside the car? It's like it's the patient! I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Is there gonna be a body? There's I mean, no it would have been in here for like 10 years because yeah. they said 80. Is it gonna be like bones? Oh. Okay, that's, that's weird. weird too. <laughs> sketch, very sketch. I better have a gun. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be something romantic or something gross. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, it doesn't look as scary now that I look at it. It yeah. looks like paper mache, but still, the thought, the thought. <laughs> <laughs> So was that the patient? Or was that just... Oh, she's going back. Ahead. Oh my goodness. Let's see what he's gonna say this time. She's like in the dark. A towel? Oh, because she's like, like wet. Oh, I don't trust this behavior. Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? I might if I saw the case file. 
His real name is Benjamin Raspell. I did not kill him, I assure you. Merely tucked him away very much as I found him after what? he'd missed three appointments. So you just kept the head? Raspell was a transvestite? In life, garden variety manic depressive. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's what first... The heck? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Makes me wonder how many patients he, like, messed up, you know, just for fun. That doesn't interest me, Doctor. Frankly, it's... It's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. No. <laughs> I want a window where I can see a tree. Or even water. I want to be in a federal institution far away from Dr. Chilton. What did you mean by fledgling killer? Are you saying that he's killed again? I'm offering you a psychological profile in Buffalo Bill based Ooh. on the case evidence. Uh, That's interesting. And you want a window. Is that it? Probably not. Can you and old Jackie boy wait? Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. Uh, I feel like we're going to see Yeah, that. Buffalo Bill. What the heck? Is that a mask? I think so. Like oh, it's like oh. binoculars. Oh my gosh, this is freaking me out. Is Buffalo Bill also a cannibal or just a killer? Well, he's skinning hey, these women. Cheaper. The concept of using like Hannibal to catch or to do a profile and catch another killer is crazy. Oh, don't help, don't help. That's probably him. Oh no, never trust anything. <laughs> never trust anything. <laughs> Not late at night don't like help, that. Don't help, don't help. Why do I know her? That actress from other things. This must have been really early on. Don't fucking do her. it. Oh my gosh, she, she's gonna offer help and I bet he's gonna throw her in the don't fucking Don't offer van. help. Uh, no, just take your groceries upstairs. Truck and, and I want to push it oh, don't know. This is horrible. I can do it. No! Oh, he's gonna close the door. Oh uh, my gosh. No, no, no. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Hey, are you about size 14? Oh. Ah. Uh. Just like right here. Just, ugh. Goodness. That's Buffalo Bill. I'm so curious what Hannibal's gonna say about him. Oh, good. Good. Oh my gosh, don't skin. Oh, this movie's so freaky. But it's really good, though. Yeah. The cat saw everything, and the cat can never tell. <laughs> It's like weird to get a, like a into the mind of serial killer. <laughs> Outside, let's go. <laughs> they look like so silly with like a yellow yes. FBI thing. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, this is like a routine. They're like the refs or something. Saddle up. <laughs> That's what they look like to me, though. <laughs> oh, this is the girl. No, oh, she's gonna be skinned. Okay, three oh. days. Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. Each body in a different river. The water leaves us no trace evidence of any kind. Oh my gosh! So actually, she was the third girl found. After her, he got lazy. Circles where the girls were abducted, arrows where their bodies were found. This new one today washed up Elk River, West Virginia. Yeah, I was curious, like, how wide, like, you know, I guess the area is where he's, like, abducting people. Yeah. But I guess if you're throwing them in, like, the rivers, they're going to, like, float and be found somewhere else. He's in his... 30s or 40s he's got real physical strength combined with an older man's self-control he's, he's cautious precise and he's never impulsive he'll never stop 
You haven't mentioned anything about the information contained in my report or Dr. Lecter's offer. Considering it. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? Oh, did he want this? Oh! If I'd sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. Mm. He would have toyed with you, then turned to okay. stone. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So he did want his help. Yeah, he 40 chest that. Mm -hmm. That looks like so 80s, those women. I know. <laughs> like the jacket, the hair, the shoes, the <laughs> pants, everything. I didn't call you. That was somebody from the state attorney's office. I'll extend you every courtesy, but right now I... Sheriff, this type of sex crime has certain aspects I just as soon discuss in private. So, like, without her? I guess. That's weird. Yeah. Why? Damn, they're, like, all mean muggy. like cops to be at the funeral see that's what i was like, like wondering like you know? is this like the time but i like, guess because it's an ongoing investigation maybe but, wait this is somebody wait else yeah that's not was it just like a different funeral happening at a different oh is, wait is she seeing her dad is that what she's oh. seeing i can't tell i need to see this face again yes that was oh. the dad from the beginning so the dad probably died like while he was a cop uh there's things we need to do for her i know that Y'all brought her this far and that her folks would thank you if they could for your kindness and your sensitivity. And now please, go on now, let us take care of her. Go on now. <laughs> so they had just brought the body, I'm assuming. I guess. This, okay, I think yeah. that makes more sense. Okay, I was kind of yeah. confused. They're gonna run an autopsy, okay. I would imagine. So that's what it was. All right. Hmm. I was like, why? I thought we may have like moved forward a little yeah. bit and we're like already at her funeral. So that's, they were just at the funeral home, mm -hmm. but like not yeah. at an actual funeral. I better get back to that service. What's she saying? Lamar will hit me. Lord I guess maybe she's just shocked. I thought she noticed something. Yeah. Ray, get pictures of her teeth. We'll fax them for missing persons. Right. Are we finally seeing something? When a body comes out of the water, lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. It's gonna be something weird. What the heck is that? That's a bug cocoon. There's no way that could get way down in there like that. Unless he somebody did. shoved it in there. It's like a calling card? Oh, what the heck? It was just smokes, darling. I had to get rid of him. Matters, Mr. Crawford. Cops look at you to see how to act. Point taken. Luggage remarks found around the wrists, not around the ankles. This would indicate that the skin was post-mortem. I just want to see what Hannibal has to mm -hmm. say about it. I wonder if it's normal for like a student like her to be this involved in mm -hmm. a case like in the real world, you know? Well, they said that she's like really close to like finishing like the training, right? I thought like, cause he said like her, her thing expired in a couple of weeks. But I don't know if that means she's like graduating or what. It was found behind the soft pallet of a murder victim. The body was in the Elk River in West Virginia. It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? No, I mean, it's not a PhD. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Now, where does it come from? God, that's what's strange. I only live in Asia. Asia? In this country, they'd have to be specially raised from imported eggs. Uh, somebody grew this guy, fed him honey and nightshade. That means, like, there has to be some sort of, like, way to track that back, then. If it's so rare. That looks like where death happens. <laughs> oh, he has another victim. Oh, my gosh. Surprised someone like that could take care of a dog. Our top story for this morning. Catherine Martin, the 25-year-old daughter of Senator Ruth Martin, listed first as a missing person, is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer known only as Buffalo Bill. Was that the first girl? Or that could that be the new girl? No, that was the one that he... Okay, okay. Just, yeah. 
And while our kidnapping is not at this point considered to be politically motivated, nevertheless, it has stirred the government mm. to its highest levels. Reach for comment on the ski slopes of... St I mean, maybe he was targeting her literally because of, like, her size. Yeah. Catherine is very gentle and kind. Talk to her and you'll see. You have the power. So was the body a different girl and she's still the one who's, like, screaming? I'm just that you that's what weird. Yeah. So that that's before. <laughs> that you're big enough to treat Catherine better than the world is treating Like, you. this girl is either the one that was we saw yeah. get killed or the, the new girl that's in, like, the pit. Yeah. She's probably the one in the pit. I feel like they're she they're acting was, like they, have, they, they would have found said her, yeah. that they had found her. To the family, yeah, yeah, at the very least. So that was a different one than mm. that was yeah. autopsied. If your profile helps us catch Buffalo Bill in time to save Catherine Martin, Will you get your window? Senator promises you a transfer Ooh. to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York. View of the woods nearby. Maximum security still. So now that a senator's daughter is involved, they have yeah. more pull, you know? Yeah. Leave the hospital and go here. With a window? Plum Island. Oh. Day of that week. You may walk on the beach, you oh. may swim in the ocean for up to one really? hour under. That seems Swat dangerous. Team surveillance, of course. And there you have it. I mean, he seems, seems like intrigued, he yeah. A copy of the Buffalo Bill case file. But remember on the other girl, they said kept her for three days. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that's just like, does that vary by victim? My father had become the whole world to me. When he left me, I had nothing. I was 10 years old. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Oh, okay, so he's like Getting already the noticing the size. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Was it a butterfly? Oh, he knows. This has to be one of his patients. There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. Johns Hopkins, the University of Minnesota, and Columbus Medical Center. I wouldn't be surprised Do if one of them have had records? tried for sex reassignment and oh, okay. all of them and been rejected. Do you think okay. he's trying to wear the girl's skin? Yes. That, that's why he needs the size yeah. to fit him? Violence. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. And he's he a guy, so he's looking for, like, bigger girls. Who's listening? But his pathology is a thousand times more savage and more terrifying. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Mr. Yeah. My family will pay cash. Whatever ransom. Okay, so she is the one who's hidden. I mean, yeah, um, captured. Is it three days of moisturizing? It places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Oh. I can't tell. Is that invoking an emotion? Oh my goodness. Wait, is he trying to like, oh my gosh, all the women that have like scratched at this shit. Oh, the fingernail. Um, oh. Yeah, you're not the first. When he said something about like, um, trying to avoid an emotional connection because it makes it easier. Is that why he's like oh, saying it? And he's like not acknowledging their questions and... Who is Buffalo Bill? I tell the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I oh. have a few conditions of my own. Clean him up and get him ready to go. I mean, that was enough to get mm. the... Get him going to wherever he... He has a plan, though. Mm. Yeah, I rolled the dice I had to. Well, she's mad as hell, Jack. Paul Krenler's over here from Justice. She's asking wow. him to take over in Memphis. Wow, okay. I was kind of wondering, like, did the senator really agree to that, yeah. you know, at the time? And I was like, oh, maybe she just wants her daughter back, yeah. but... Does she even have the authority? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, oh, this, yeah. you know, criminal. I feel like I've seen this... That shot. Like, this picture in the shot before, like, him with that mask. But I'd never really put it like put the connection that it was from this movie. Now we're gonna treat you as good as you treat us. You be a gentleman, you're gonna get three hots to cop. The sign right here will have us a legal transfer. He took the, the pen. pen! Oh my gosh. How did he get it? I 
trick on a dolly. <laughs> Crazy how they're all, you know, like yeah. ready and afraid of him. I mean, the fact that they have this many yeah. people surrounding with guns. <laughs> For one man. I met him just once. He was referred to me in April or May 1980 by my patient Benjamin Raspell. They were lovers, you see. Mm. But Raspell had become very frightened. Like the dude's head? Mm. Done things with the skin. We need his address and a physical description. Tell me, Senator, did you nurse Catherine yourself? Oh, uh, goodness. Take this thing back to Baltimore. Oh, my oh. gosh. Five foot ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes. Oh, the description. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. That's all I can remember, Mark. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. <laughs> so is the deal still happening? Love your suit. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> he's so just like... Weird and informative. You never, like, know <laughs> yeah. where he's gonna go. I'm trying to find the abductor of Catherine Martin, Buffalo Bill. How do you think, sir? Well, it's only through my own unique insight into Lecter's mind. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just, like, shit. piggybacked you just off took a the fake plan, plan and, yeah. and made it real, <laughs> somehow. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. I understand, sir. Log in, check your weapon. Well, I can't take all the credit for myself. <sighs> I hate that, too. Just department, people at the FBI. Oh, it's this person. Oh. Okay, I thought it was the other guy yeah. still bragging. <laughs> I have a name for what it is. You do know the rules, ma'am? Yes, Lieutenant Boyle. I've questioned him before. Go ahead. How secure is this new place? Yeah. Does he have, like, the glass, or is it just bars this time? Oh. Oh. It's like... Bar box? Bars. <laughs> yeah. It's like actual furniture. <laughs> Does he still have the pen? The pen's gonna come back into play. Mm -hmm. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask what is it in itself? What is its nature? What does he do? This man you know that is incidental. What is the first? He wants their skin. Skins them? Tell me, Clarice, you don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Doctor, we don't have any more time. Was she lying about that? After your father's murder, you were orphaned. You were 10 years old. You went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana. Was and he one right? morning, I just ran away. Not just. Because he's pushing it, and you know he's smart. Yeah. What did you do? I went downstairs, outside. I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clary? Oh what did you gosh. see? Nothing good. Lambs. Lambs? Like, Silence of the Lambs? You think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, mm. oh. you won't wake up in the dark ever again. Interesting. To that awful screaming of the lambs. So the psychiatrist at work. Mm. <laughs> no. Like he just enjoys it, you know, like uh, getting into people's heads. Yeah. Tell me his name, Doctor. Therese. Your case file. Oh, what's he gonna do? Alright. Oh. Did he write something with the pen? Uh maybe, like in the file mm. for her? Son of a bitch demanded a second dinner. Lamb chops. Excellent. Lamb. Lamb. What he wants for breakfast. Damn thing. Zoo. So oh much. Like, the fact that he requested lamb. <gasps> <gasps> What's that? Piece of the pen? I guess so, yeah. Is he gonna use it against them somehow? Is he gonna try to, like, break out right now? Same drill as before, please. Mm hmm. Okay. How are we gonna do? use that little tiny? Is it yeah. pick the thing or? Are you and you are Sergeant Pembry. Pick the cuffs. Oh yes. 
That's why he has it in his hand. Okay, yeah. They're gonna cuff him and then he's gonna freaking pick it. Okay. Hand me that one. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get out. So that's how they bring him to dinner, is like they cuff him to the side, but. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my oh, god! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to oh see that. Gosh. I was amazed! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Don't kill him. He was careful about your drawings. Oh, I don't oh think he cares. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's his psycho coming out. It's always been there, but he was just like a master manipulator too. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All it took was one little pen thing. Oh. Are you not gonna like to try to leave or? <laughs> nice. Ready when you are, Sergeant Pembry. Oh my gosh. Wow, and he just walked right out. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Is Where is he gonna go? Did somebody go up on five? No. Oh, is this gonna be him? Well, he would have to be. Shots fired on five, repeat. Shots fired on five. Sergeant Tate! Holy shit. The hell? Shut up. Bobby, get the vest. Right, Sarge. Could he... I feel like he'd be more smart about this. Yeah. So maybe... Maybe he just has the bodies up on an elevator. Go off a ten block radius. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance double quick. We're going up. Crazy that like this entirety of like this many people. Yeah. It just shows I guess how, you know, dangerous he is. Body. One of the cops' bodies, I feel like. Oh, oh nothing. nothing. Oh my <gasps> gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Yeah. What do I say? It's Jim Pembry now. Talk to him, damn it. Pembry, can you hear me? He took Boyle's gun. Pembry got off one round. There's a chance left was hit. Keep breathing in and out. Dang. He has to be like. Is that him? Gone. Like, could that be him? Could that be a way out? Like. Hmm. There was, cause he was, he was a cannibal, not a friggin' Skinner. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> like he's faking the Yeah, like to he's be the, the body, body uh, maybe he hit the get, other like, body. To taken out. Yeah. If he does something like that, that'd be like insane. Uh, some 40 chess. So let's see the face. That doesn't, oh, I don't know, it's kinda hard, it's like really messed up. Now you're making me feel like it isn't. Wait. No, now I don't feel like it. No. Yeah. I feel like a medical professional would be like, okay, yeah. he's good, but maybe he's pretending to seize up here. If that is him. I just, how would he have gotten out? Oh, wait. Uh, Roger, oh. Gonna... No, he's just like here. thinking about it, yeah. I'm on the elevator bringing Pembry down. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's him. It, I feel like it is now. Your main so what would he have secured. done with the other body then? I don't know, hit it somewhere. He had time. Blood. Oh, it's in the fucking elevator. At the top of the elevator. It's the body. If That's he's him. He's about to like wake up. Oh my oh gosh. My yes, gosh. it is. Uh, we're pretty sure it's somewhere on too, sir. That's all for him. Yeah, he's gonna find the body. But I feel like he'll already be in the ambulance. Oh, damn. 
damn, look how many fucking people there are. It's on the roof of the elevator. Like, they're thinking it's him, mm -hmm. but oh my gosh, it's totally gonna be the body! Because remember, it was doing weird shit up and yeah. down, up and down. So how did he obscure his face that much? Was it just blood or did he, like, cut his own face? Sorry, yeah. Johnny, hold your fire. We're coming into the car. We're opening the hatch. Watch his hands. There's any fire. How did he have the strength to, like, get him up there like that? <laughs> No, he definitely had time because he was able to like freaking tie up the other dude yeah. too. I feel like he like cut off his face or something. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes, it's the face. That's why he looked like him. Oh, gross. Oh, he's going to make his move. And we've got grand mal seizure activity, but he's post-dictal now. And the <laughs> Oh my god. And it was the skin! We got him on lactated ringers running and uh and the patient is on 10 years long. Oh my gosh! Oh he's one of the most badass villains I've ever seen. Is this Lecter's handwriting? Oh, yes! He oh, wrote some shit. yes, he did write with the pen. The sight seemed desperately random. Like the elaboration of a bad liar. Tie mm. and collector. Desperately random? What does he mean? Not random at all, maybe. Like, like he's making it trying to look random. Maybe he's like mm -hmm. dead in the center of it all. What does this guy do? He covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. What does that mean? God damn, Clarice. Like where he lives, probably? Like that's close mm. to where he lives, the first one? Yeah. Like what he sees every day, probably? Yeah. That has to be, yeah. I'm gonna go ask like the relatives of the first victim. She left the interview okay. She never come home. Her bedroom's how she left it. Upstairs, door to the left. What could you find there, though? Maybe, like, who could look at her? I don't... I mean, that'd be crazy if it was, like, the fucking neighbor or some shit like that. Oh, they're like, it, like nudes before nudes. <laughs> OG nudes. Oh, no. Only thing more OG is like freaking getting drawn like a French girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you took those yourself, I'm assuming, or well, somebody took somebody, them off. Well, you know, yeah. but it was like you knew it was happening. It wasn't yeah, like. What does that have to do with like finding the yeah. killer, though? Who were those for? Well, Chicago's only 400 miles from here. I'll be there in... No, 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 Starling. There's not enough time. We want him for murder, not kidnapping. I need you to link him to the Bimmel girl before he's indicted. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. Yes, sir. You bet. I feel like he's not in Chicago. Yeah. What if he's still here where she is? Nobody's gonna forget that. At least of all me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Crawford. I feel like he's local to here. Yeah. Is she gonna try and like get the dog? Ew, oh my god. Oh, the skin. Yeah. Oh, the she's, hair. She's trying to get like the dog to hold it hostage, maybe? Okay, I think I know what she's doing. Poor dog, you oh, don't no. deserve this life. Come on. Get hatched. Oh, this is not gonna be the place. This is the wrong. Yeah. The foolish food precious. Darling, how are you all right? She's in a lot of pain, mister. She oh needs my gosh. a bed. She broke her leg on the way down. I know. Oh. Like hey, don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me oh hurt my gosh. your dog! 
I mean, I don't want the dog to get hurt either, but like this is. But it was a kind horrible, of a horrible, fucked up situation. Yeah, but also, you know, she's just trying to survive. But is there like a also shotgun sad in there? for the dog. It's the old. The, it, well, her too. The dog and her are the yeah. innocent parties in this. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do it, Mister! Oh my gosh, you're gonna freaking. He's gonna kill her now. Oh, this is not gonna be it, I don't think. Gosh. Good afternoon. <gasps> oh, it's her oh, here! It was it! I'm looking for Mrs. Lipman. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was oh really gosh. cool how they did it that. Was, it's the wrong. Leave her anymore. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I really need to speak with you. Oh, oh no. My gosh. Now I'm like worried for her. What's the problem, officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. And she just went right to the house. Tax form. The moth. Look at the oh, moth. Oh, yeah, the Boy. moth. Well, nothing like that at all. Hey, has the FBI learned something? The police around here don't seem to have the first clue. Oh, there we go. Oh, moth. moth. Get the gun. Get the gun. Get a gun. Get a gun. Come on. Sure, you can use my phone. Don't oh back my gosh! Spread your legs. Put your hands in the back. Shoot him! Shoot him now! Shoot no, him now! No, shoot him right before he goes! Oh my gosh! He should have shot. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember to check your fucking corners. Yeah. <laughs> Remember your training. No, you're just a student, and you shouldn't be here alone like this. Oh my gosh. This is nerve-wracking, like, you can go into one door, you can just pop out the other and kill you. Oh, oh my the gosh. skins! The skins! <laughs> oh no, don't go close, because then, like, oh, what if you get you pushed get... in? I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now, you listen to me. I've gotta leave this room, I'll be right back. <laughs> Did she call them at any point? Like, will the... I mean, she talked to the supervisor, so, I mean, he said her name when, like, they realized they didn't find anything. <laughs> Like, this place is, this is like a labyrinth. This yeah. is, goes on forever and ever. Like, how many houses are in this one house? Well, this is just like the basement area. Uh, oh no. Just shoot and use like the, the flash of the, the bang to like get a quick glimpse. She has oh, no idea where she is and it's yeah. completely in the dark. Like, what are you gonna do? This is so nerve wracking. Oh, fuck! Hear it, hear it, hear it, hear it! Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh, okay, well, I think, yeah. Oh, it like grazed her. When they were all oh, the on the dog? wrong side of the, the country. <laughs> She's holding the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Precious. Sorry your leg got broken. Special Agent Starling. Huh? Special Agent Man. <laughs> Phone call. Excuse me, John. Oh, I feel like it's Hannibal. Oh, yeah. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know, oh. I can't make that promise. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh my oh gosh! No. <laughs> for literal dinner! <laughs> Dr. Lecter. Dr. Lecter. Wow! Oh, that oh guy! That's the friend! <laughs> wow. He really wasn't in the movie that much, so yeah. I get, like, you know, 
How crazy it is that he won the Oscar for I mean, it, it was an mm -hmm. epic performance, though. Yeah, makes sense. It was Oscar worthy. Like, from the very first freaking scene, yeah. like, I was like, damn. Like, that gaze he was just giving the camera. He just walked away <laughs> from it all. <laughs> wow. It was, that so, was so fucking good. good. Yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> this is like on all those like movies you have to see uh -huh. lists. This is one of them. I really enjoyed that. I, so good. The acting was phenomenal by everybody, yeah. but you know, especially Anthony Hopkins there, obviously. Sir Anthony Hopkins. Sir Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> so good. The way he just like, I, I don't even know how to explain what he did he. with his character, but he did it. And it made you like him and dislike him all at once and then want to almost root for him. But you know, I guess mm -hmm. like somebody who, a character who would have been like a mass manipulator, psychopath type, that would probably be how they were, you know, yeah. if they he were is an evil guy. Notorious. Even though he was helping. You could see how he was manipulating everyone around him, the situations, and then yeah. also just kind of toying with people for fun. Um, oh, it's just so fascinating. I feel like, you know, you could just look at his character and study it. And I mean, obviously, it's it's a character in a movie. Yeah. But he, he portrayed it so well. So well. Um, honestly, probably one of my favorite villains I've ever yeah. seen in film, to be honest. Like, it was so good. Yeah. I just can't get over it. And, like... I just found myself, now mind you, the story was interesting enough, but like every time we went to go visit him again, I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, I just want to see what he has to say. And the fact that, you know, he was like a psychiatrist, you know, that yeah. he was actually really, really smart and just so happened to be a freaking cannibal. <laughs> like yeah. that was just crazy. I think the plot aspect too, the fact that they, the whole purpose was to use him to find the Buffalo Bill. Mm -hmm was really fascinating too is like they needed i guess somebody of his caliber of expertise also <laughs> being a killer himself probably and a psychiatrist um to figure it out which was really interesting i also really liked clarice's character as well i said it during the movie but it was funny how she was the one by herself who ended up yeah. you know finding that Buffalo was Bill. really cool how they did that with the doorbell <laughs> yeah. ring and you were thinking okay maybe it is right because right. all the signs were there it's like it's not gonna be this simple yeah. like she's not gonna be there like when they actually fought, find him and then to have her the one ringing yeah. the doorbell like wherever the hell she was oh. that was so good um and all the other things too like all the other little 40 chess moves by uh freaking hannibal lecter here too like you know putting the skin on yeah. his face oh, of the cop goodness. to get out i was like how the hell did he get out of here and then like as it progressed and i was like that face looks slightly different than what i remember mm -hmm. like that cop looking like but then obviously you we were like chalking that up like could it yeah. just be like he got really badly mutilated uh but i was like no nah, that it, something was off here he, like it was too heavily guarded to get out like in a casual not casual but like a, a more commonly thought of way like oh i'm just gonna go through a window like there's probably cops surrounding the entire perimeter all right well thank you so much for watching this movie with us and we will see you next time bye everyone